If you don't know, if you happen to only see one of my tweets and not the other one, which would be a bit weird, uh, here's here's the situation, right? So we had we had we had uh, this tweet here. I guess let's go back. Let's go back. I had planned to go to Japan for one month. Right? When I originally went to Japan, it was for a one-month trip. A little under a month. It was like 25 days because February is a bit of a short month. I had something to do at the end of the month. It was 25 days. Part of the trip, Cutie was supposed to go with me. And it was supposed to be a week of us together in Japan during Valentine's Day. So it'd be like... Uh, you know, a couple date trips to like some Rio cans, you know, go to Kyoto, wear those kimonos, uh, you know, cute little, eat some sushi. Great, cute, lovely. Problem, cutie is in her no flying phase. Okay. Everybody has phases in life. She's in her no fly phase. Occasionally in life, she oscillates between I will not fly or I will fly, but I will have a devastating panic uh, panic attack on the flight. And for the few years that I've known Cutie, she's generally been in the I will fly, but have a giant panic attack stage. Recently, though, she's been like a little more anxious about it. And it's not like the Japan flight is a cakewalk. It would be the longest uninterrupted, right, direct flight that she's ever taken. And there's no way to like break it up into stops. I've asked her this before. I was like, what would you prefer? A one 12 hour flight or two six hour flights? And she would actually prefer two six hours. I think most people were like, yeah, for sure. The direct flight. I like being on the plane. I do things I never do. Like clean out the camera roll on my, on my iPhone. But, uh, for her, she's like two six hours. I need to touch the ground occasionally. There's no real way to do that. Like maybe you can stop in Hawaii. It's kind of out of the way. Most stops are like in Fiji. Also kind of out of the way. It increases the flight length a lot. Because there's mostly Pacific Ocean between here and Japan. So she decided not to come. Because of that, I shortened my trip by a week, right? Originally, 25 days. Because Cutie's not coming, I thought, well, it's a little too long to be apart 25 days. Let me shorten it 18 days. That was my new trip. 18-day trip. And specifically, it had to be 18 days because at the last few days of the trip, I had planned on doing a um, Ludwig versus drifting stream. Where I would drift... <laughs> with uh, the Drift King, which is not like a fake name. He's literally the guy who invented drifting. Uh, and, and go up against, I, I think at the time, it was proposed to be against Hassan. But as I got closer to it, also a lot of things that happened. I kept calling Cutie on the phone, FaceTiming her at night. She was not she was not holding up as as well as I uh, thought she might have when when I originally had planned the trip and left. Basically, she was, str she was struggling. She was struggling a bit. I was like... So day three, this is true, day three on the trip, I had made a plan to return on Valentine's Day. Because the way it works, if you don't know, if you fly from Japan to Los Angeles, you will arrive before the time you left because of time zones. Japan's 17 hours ahead of LA, but it's about a 12-hour flight, including driving times and airport waiting and all that good stuff. So if I leave at like you know, 5 p.m., I'll actually arrive at, like, noon. It's time travel. The trade-off is that you lose a day when you go to Japan, but but you get the day back. So anyway, it means I could leave on Valentine's Day in Japan and then arrive on Valentine's Day in America. I could even leave at, like, 5 p.m. in Japan and I arrive at, like, 10, 11 a.m. in America. That was my plan. Day three, I had this plan. Genius plan, I thought. So I'm going through the entire trip, having a good time, yada, yada. A lot of it I talked about on stream. When all of a sudden I see a tweet from a, 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 a Twitter account, the Fear and Podcast Twitter. And I get tagged in it a lot. And I'm like, all right, let me check it out. So I go to watch. Tuning in. I've decided as a surprise, he's flying home for Valentine's Day. He might not, and I'm what if really he sad. Does, what if he doesn't? <laughs> He's not flying. Wait, what, bitch? You <laughs> wait. It's so good. Has he said this? No. Cutie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Cutie. So Cutie. I would hate to move in and have to leave because he's definitely gonna come home early. Cutie. Cutie. <laughs> as a surprise. Cutie. Oh god. You think this man tuning in? I've decided as a surprise, he's flying home for Valentine's Day. 
So I see that and all of a sudden I start getting flooded with tweets from people being like, uh, Ludwig, you have to come over, your bad boyfriend, yada, yada, yada. Meanwhile, I've already planned to come. I've already planned it. And so now I'm like, well, this fucking sucks. Because now I'm going to come back, all right? And it's still great that I get to come home and hang out with my girlfriend. But it's no longer like, wow, Ludwig did this sweet thing for his girlfriend that he'd been planning on doing as a surprise. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, you know, fucking, that's right, Ludwig, you should do this. I was like, I just fucking planned for days, for days. And you know who knew that I had it planned for days? Hassan. Because day three or four, I asked Hassan, he was originally going to come to Japan with me. He couldn't make it because, well, one, he was raising a shit ton of money. Uh, but two, he originally had the streamer bowl. And so I messaged him and he, uh, the, about how I'm going to come home early. He sends me a message the day the podcast is recorded. So before you guys all saw that clip and tweeted at me, Hassan sends me a DM that's like, bro, she knows. And I'm like, ooh. He says, yeah, I tried my best to gaslight her, but I think she knows. I was like, how? I'm like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Women's intuition, which is a real thing, by the way. Fellas, if you don't know, all right? Women's intuition, it stays undefeated, all right? I think partially because women's intuition also intuits things that haven't happened that maybe could possibly happen in some conceivable multiverse timeline. They're kind of like Doctor Strange, women. <laughs> women are like doctors, fellas. And, and so, and so, it's like any conceivable thread they have an inkling of. They have a spidey sense. It's undefeated. It's OP. I've always, like, like there's nothing. I, if I want to do, like, a fun surprise for Cutie's birthday, I'll never be able. I feel like I can never hide it from her. She always knows. Having said that, I have the opposite of women's intuition. Which is called men's, uh, uh, men are dumbasses. <laughs> which is like, I, I, I look. It's just, she would never. She would never. But, like, Cutie has done things that, like, I've had no clue about. Like, one time I was streaming on my stream anniversary, and she had 20 people in the house who had prepared a roast for me. I had no fucking clue. Right? I had zero clue. She, she, she could get away with anything. I would never know. I would just never. I don't, I don't know. Things happen in the world. And I'm like, yep, that's, that's, that's a thing that's happening. And Because there's so much going on. I'm just like, you know what? All I care about right now is making my coffee. This is, and I just do this, and I walk to the kitchen. And I never know. I never know. I never know shit. I'm a fucking... So I assume other people are like that. Not women. Not cutie. Anyway, women's intuition. But I'm like, fuck that. I've, I've, I want this surprise to be cool. I want to actually surprise her. So, I devise a plan. Alright? I devise a plan. It's basically a, a, a three-step plan. Step one is I talk to Hassan. I say, alright, you need to gaslight her more. Hassan says, done. Not even because I want to be a good friend to you. I just like gaslighting women. You think I'm making that up. That's actually what he said. That's bar for bar. That's actually, that's a quote. I'm quoting Hassan. He said, and I'm going to read it out. I love gaslighting women. And then he wrote in parentheses, I'm a misogynist. That's a, I'm not, he wrote that. He wrote, I have the records. Okay. That's a direct. He told us on stream. He seems proud of it. <laughs> Step two. Step two, after that clip was released, I had to devise an excuse to be in Japan. I had to create some sort of fabricated stream, some sort of reason that my presence in Japan was necessary. And one thing that I had yet to do in Japan, even though I'd already been there about 12 days, was an IRL stream. It's a pretty expected thing to do, especially when you're traveling abroad, because, well, one, I have a backpack, and two, oh, cool new place that you've never been to. Let me show you around. So I tweet out this. Wednesday, February 15th, 2 p.m. PT, which if you're counting, that was three hours ago. My first IRL stream in Japan featuring Connor Dog voice actor. Stream ends when we walk 100,000 steps and we can only eat, drink from vending machines. See you there. Honestly, I thought it was a fucking dope idea. I made that shit up on the spot. I looked it up. 100K steps is ambitious? No, 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 because it's we walk 100K steps. 100k steps across two people is very easy. It's 50k steps a person. And we're probably going to walk the same amount of steps. It'd take about 12 hours. It's like, it's hard, but it's not impossible. It's doable. It's basically 50k steps. That's, that's a classic scam. That's a classic, you're illiterate. Stream ends when we walk 100k steps. If we both walk 100k steps, it's 200k steps. 
let's let's you know let's understand let's understand basic math here i can't believe you're scamming your fake event i'm not first of all i'm not scamming my fake event this is that if i said if i said stream ends when we eat one pound of rice you would not think they're eating two pounds of rice son of a bitch i'm tuning into this stream because they're about to eat two honey ludwig is eating two pounds of rice with connor yeah you would think one pound of rice split across two people. I absolutely would do a poll. I don't want to do a poll because sometimes, and I don't mean to start accusing you guys of shit. Sometimes I think you guys make up opinions because they're contrarian to me and then die on the hill. False equivalency. Stop talking to me. <laughs> You're this is a fake event. We're, we're, just, we're arguing. It's a fake event. It was fake. Fake. Not real. What's that one video? Shit, what's the video of the guy and he speaks for like six minutes straight and it's this old show from the 90s and he's like, it was a ruse. It was fake. All fabricated. An absolute lie. A modicum of falsities. Yeah, it's the guy from Star Trek. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. No. Not this time. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. It's fiction. It's fiction. We made it up. We made this one up. It's a made-up tale. It's a total fabrication. It never happened. It never happened. This one was invented by a writer. Not this time. It never happened. It's false. It never happened. It's a fake. It's fiction. It's an urban legend that never happened. No way. We got you. Not a chance. Not this time. It never happened. It never happened. We made this one up. It's fiction. We made up this one. We made it up. Not this time. Wrong. Anyway, that that's me. You know, while I was watching that, I let it play for a little longer than I normally would have because I thought of a genius stream idea. What if I got, like, two people in addition to me, and those two people are, like, especially good at maybe improv or storytelling? Let's say Will Neff and uh, Seer, and then I get, like, somebody else on, and we each tell a story, and only one of them's true, and it has to be some tale through history, and then that person has to guess which tale is true, and they can ask questions about it. And then chat could also maybe guess. We could call it like, um, do you think I'd be gaffing? Question mark. Would I lie to you? That's better. Let's call it, would I lie to you? I like that. Kind of like, do you think I'd be gaffing? But easier to pick up. <laughs> Copyright? No, no, no. I came to it individually. I came to it individually. Tom Scott does this. Does he do it with two other people? Does he do it to other people? Because that's the Ludwig twist. It's three humans. Or is it just Tom Scott and Tom Scott voice saying things? He does it with six other people? Totally different. We'll call it fooled. Anyway, I think this is a good idea. The facts are, I created a fake stream with Connor. I think it's honestly a good, a good stream idea, but I, I created this fake stream. And then right after I did this, right after I, I tweeted this out, I waited like five, ten minutes... I call Cutie. I calls her, right? So here's the here's the timeline for the day. I see this clip from Fear and after receiving from texts for, uh, from Hassan saying that Cutie knows. The clip is about Cutie saying she wants me to come home for Valentine's Day. I then tweet this out in the hour later. And then I uh, I call Cutie. And Cutie's, uh, she's talking to me. She's like, hey, I'm like, hey. And then and there's like a little silence and I go, you know I'm not coming back yet, right? And it was a fucking heartbreaking convo. She replies, she's like, yeah. Yeah, I knew. And I'm like, yeah, I just wanted to make sure because like, I have a few streams planned out here. I still have to do like the drifting thing. She's like, for sure. You know, actually, I think I have to go. I was like, what? It was actually so sad. It was evil. I fucking hate lying. I never lie. I hate it. I don't enjoy doing it. I am too honest, honestly, with you guys most of the time. But I feel like I'm too honest. I don't like hiding things. All right? Even lying by omission feels bad in my heart. But directly lying to someone, I, I rarely do. And so I'm doing this cutie here, and she's so sad. In the whole day, so the day before Valentine's Day, the whole day, she's like, every time I call her, because I call her a few times a day to just keep up, catch up, FaceTime, whatever, Every time I call her in Japan, she's like, that day specifically, she's like, after a few minutes of talking, 
I got to go. I'm just not feeling great today. I'm like, yeah, no worries. No worries. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it hurts so bad. But it's all because we're, we, a good thing is being planned. A good thing is being planned. All right. And so in the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, that the entire day, all I am doing is one, getting ready to leave Japan because there's a lot of shit that I have to do. I have to clean up my apartment. I have to pack up the computer that I had there. I have to uh, return the rental e-bike that I had. Uh, and then also I'm just buying a bunch of things for cutie for Valentine's Day. So like I, I did this crane game stream with Connor or video with Connor that you guys will see. And I got her this huge plushie. Uh, I got her like this custom Japanese knife. It's like a Western style knife, but with the Damascus steel that has Swift etched in with katakana. Fucking dope shit. And and, I, and I'm getting all that stuff. I got her some cute little strawberry desserts. And then uh, I bore the plane. And, I, and I'm overthinking this level 500. In my head, I'm like women's intuition. I have to beat women's intuition. And so I'm like, all right, if I'm if I'm woman, if I'm woman, what am I doing? First thing. Taking a look at the knockers, a la Scooby-Doo. That's inappropriate. First thing is I'm like, all right, I have to, I have to figure out, find my friend. All right, because I have, we have location on, obviously, and uh, and and so I'm, I, <laughs> I'm on the plane, and the, the find my friend has like where you are located with the blue dot. I turn it off on the plane because you can turn off your own location, and then it freezes the last spot you were. Not where the plane was at, because I would be at the airport, but halfway through as it's flying out of the city. That way, guaranteed, guaranteed, it would pause in like, um, like some prefecture or some some area of Japan I would likely be, because otherwise it would be like, oh yeah, he's at the fucking Tokyo airport. I can't be having that. So I literally was looking and I paused it. I'm like, clutched it. And I basically had to get through to her falling asleep because then when she'd wake up, I would already be in America. So that was my plan. Uh, and then uh, I, I pull up. I have like the, the Uber because I Uber back uh, park like a, like a house away. And then this is where this is where this is where uh, it, 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 we have to we have to break. We have to break. I can't keep the bit going. I can't I can't keep lying because I pull up to the door. And the thing about cutie is she's like she's like a very anxious person. It is a hundredfold when I'm not there. I don't know what about my presence makes her feel more comfortable. All right? I, I, like, she has general concerns about, like, you know, fucking safety, well-being, all that stuff. I don't feel like I'm offering a lot. Maybe I'm a comforting presence. Maybe it's because I'm fucking jacked and ripped and shit. But when I'm at the door, I sit there, I knock on it. And then I get nothing, nothing. I'm waiting there for like a, two minutes because I want her to come out and then have this nice reaction where I'm there and I'm like, hey, I'm fucking here. I lied to you. Got you, bitch. But nothing. And I can only imagine if I'm cutie, I probably knocked on the door and then she's like this. She's like, like the SpongeBob meme, like, where am I? What's going on? I sent her a text. I'm like, hey, something at the door from you from me. Nothing. Nothing. Her phone's dead. I don't know. So I get into the door, I walk inside, and then at, at, at this point, apparently, uh, I think Slime was supposed to go over that day, so she thought it was Slime or something. I try to go to the bedroom door, I knock on the bedroom door, and I hear the dog start to bark, still nothing from Cutie. She's like radio silence. She, she's locked the door to the bedroom. Eventually, I have to be like, babe? And she's like, oh my god! <laughs> so I never got like that, that well, she was very happy and surprised, but I never got the moment where she was like opens door and sees me and is like because she was like I think in my head in the corner with a knife trying to avoid whatever creature was entering the establishment which was just me which was just, which was just me uh but then but then I, she was actually surprised I think half the time when I surprise her with presents with gifts with ideas with whatever for Valentine's birthday Christmas whatever she fakes her surprise I'm pretty sure she fucking knows every single time. This time, she seemed actually surprised. I think it's because I gaslit her. I learned from Hassan. I gaslit her. Enough to the point where she actually thought I was going to do this stream. And then we have this picture here. That was us doing Valentine's. We got a nice pizza. This heart-shaped pizza, by the way, 35 fucking dollars. <laughs> Tastes like a DiGiorno pizza. Wasn't bad. 35 bucks. 
It's less dough than a non heart shaped pizza dough. <laughs> scam? Yeah, for sure a scam. For sure a scam. Was it good? It was like the Giorno's. The crust was a little better than the Giorno's. I'll give them that. The box says L because it's large, obviously. The flowers I got her were fire, though. What do you think? Bohemian style? Come on. Come on. I go crazy. Shit, me? I go crazy, bro. So that's it. That's uh, that's why I'm back in America. I came back yesterday for Valentine's Day to surprise her. 